Hey and welcome to Got Tech's Tool of the Day. Today we're going to go over the solution to providing near instant quality feedback in Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, and Google Classroom. Check it out. No matter if you're in the classroom, in a hybrid situation, or teaching remotely, one of the things that we need to do, and we need to do well as teachers, is provide quality near instant feedback to our students. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Chrome extension Moat to do just that. I will put the link to the Chrome store and how you can get Moat in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and download the Moat extension for Chrome. Uh, just click the link in the description below and that's going to bring this Moat page up in the Chrome store. You're gonna to wanna to hit add to Chrome. I've already added it. So go ahead and hit add to Chrome. When you're done with that, go up to your Chrome extension bar, click on Moat, and sign in for the first time. Once we've logged in, we could start using the Chrome Moat extension. So what I'm gonna do is just bring up a Google Doc. Remember this works in Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, and Google Classroom. But this is my doc uh, for my Gmail professional development outline. So these are things I'm going to go over. Uh, let's just say that a student handed this in. This is student work. If we wanted to leave the student a comment, uh, what you do is you highlight text. You come over here and you hit the comment button. Now you could do the traditional comment uh, by leaving text right here, or we could use the mode extension. Moat's going to do two things. It's going to record your audio and give them a voice comment, and it's also going to um, transcribe that uh, comment into a written form. So let's do this as a test real quick. This is a test comment for the extension Moat. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit done here, uh, and what it's going to do is uh, it's going to process that comment. Okay, so this is a text comment for the extension moat. There's the uh, uh, written out version, and then you can also press play here. So you can hear it there. Now we do have some editing capabilities here. So if we click on the edit button, it's going to replay the comment, but you could also see it up here and if there was anything that was incorrect or inaccurate, you can go ahead and make those changes. Now, I wanna show you something that's going to help uh, maybe uh, uh, English as a second language type learners or world language uh, classrooms. So let's uh, go over how to translate this comment. As you can see, there's a translate button here. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. From the translate button, you can translate your moat transcript into any one of these languages. All right, so let's go ahead and hit Spanish. All right, so here is the translation, and it does a pretty good job uh, translating what you have from English to Spanish, and then you could hit update, and that's going to change that uh, in your comment. We're going to go ahead and hit exit and as you can see it changed that in our comment all right so next up there there is a way so you could see if the student actually uh, got and listened to your comments uh, we can go up here to my activity and engagement all right and as you can see the, here's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, moat comments that i've made all right what i want to show you is this down here you can see that they opened or viewed the comment if there's an eyeball symbol there uh, the headphones if they listen to it and then you're gonna see these two emojis the diamond means that they understood and they uh, fixed whatever it was that they needed to fix basically the it should be uh, an answered comment or something that was addressed and then if you get this one they might need a little help to action so in the remote setting where they're not in front of you I find this to be very valuable, uh, just knowing that they either understood it or they need help, that, that is something big. So this whole activity sheet will be emailed to you 
um, which there's a setting that you can turn that off if you want or you could just go up to your remote settings and uh, grab this um, if you want now I want to show you one other thing in setting if you do not want the voice transcription you can go up here and turn that off uh, that's not a big deal so let's go over into the pricing for Moat real quick. So let's talk pricing first off. If you have a PTO that uh, has grants, you can all, always ask them to buy Moat for you. Or if you have a school district that gives you a certain amount of money at the beginning of the year, this might be a good use for that. There is a free version where you can create and listen to unlimited Moat voice notes. Uh, and you can monitor voice note engagement for up to 30 seconds. Um, the essential for under two bucks a month, uh, you can make longer uh, moats, the voice comments. Uh, this is the one that I really want to point out because with this one, you have the ability to transcribe and translate uh, your moats. And it also gives you the feedback, and this is our data. So um, when you're when you're pushing your supervisor, trying to get them to pay for this, uh, the budget really say the data piece is very very important. So these are the price points for Moat. Uh, I, I find feedback to be the most valuable part of teaching. So if this is something that's going to streamline that process, I see this as a must buy. All right, the last thing I want to talk about with Moat is that it is FERPA COPA compliant, so they do protect the information, data, and privacy of our students, which is most important. So when your supervisor or um, tech integration specialist asks uh, if your extension that you're asking for is FERPA COPA compliant, you could say, yes, it is. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope that you try out Moat. Remember, you could try out the free version and then try to get a feel for it, and I'm sure that you're going to like it. Until next time, remember to go give this a shot, and if you learned anything, just remember, you just got teched.